So I was watching a video today by Margarita Nazarenko. If you guys don't know who she is, definitely go check her out. She leaves a lot of really good tips for how to be in your feminine energy and how to just live your best life, honestly. But she said something in her video that I watched today that just really hit the spot. She gave this example of rats in a lab where you have a rat in a little cage and there's a lever and the rats who push the lever and never get a treat eventually stop pushing the lever because they never expect a treat. And then there's rats that push the lever and get a treat every time they push it and then they're not obsessed with pushing the lever because they understand that they will get a treat when they press it. The rats who have a lever that they press and sometimes the treat comes out but not other times are the ones who get obsessed and continue to push the lever over and over and over again. And let me tell you, that really hit the spot for me because I feel like that was exquisite imagery for describing toxic relationship dynamics. The lever represents your emotional triggers and the consistency of the treats represents somebody else's power in whether they give you a treat or not. I feel like this can really apply to both avoidant attachment and anxious attachment, or basically when you've had the experience where somebody will give you attention and positive reinforcement and love and energy and whatever you're seeking, sometimes but not other times, and it's inconsistent and there's no pattern to it, that right there I feel like is one of the number one things that keeps people stuck because they keep coming back because they think maybe it'll be different this time. Oh, let me come back and try again because maybe they'll give me the attention I want. Maybe they've changed. Maybe they'll love me this time. Maybe they'll be nice to me this time. I definitely feel like that's more harmful than interacting with somebody who never gives you that kind of love and attention. And it's definitely not a healthy dynamic like somebody who is consistent in giving you that positive reinforcement when you are seeking it. So that was a nice simplified way for me to really think about that concept today and to carry that thought with me as I continue to attract new friends and new relationships into my life. I'm going to pay attention for the consistency. And not only am I expecting that consistency from the person that I'm interacting with, but I'm also paying close attention to being able to give that consistent positive reinforcement that a good friend or a good partner could rely on. Because I also don't want to be part of the problem. <laughs> I'm definitely at a point where I'm really bored and really over all the toxic cycles, the push and pull, the back and forth, and I'm really focusing up on being my best self consistently. I think that's really what good people in this world deserve.